Okay, so uh, in this demo, I'll create one VNet. Okay, I'll create one uh, custom virtual network. Then I will create two subnets. Okay, one subnet that I will create for the Jambox. Another one I will create for. Another one I will create for what purpose? I'll create a virtual network. I'll create a Jambox subnet. Then I will create a private subnet okay so whatever the subnet i am creating on this subnet second subnet so i would not be have any public ip address okay so let's see uh, so this subnet will be azure bastion subnet azure bastion subnet either i can go with azure gembox or azure bastion subnet but the efficient one is azure bastion subnet because azure is a managing right we don't need to manage anything so they will create an instance and they will just create it so better we can go with this right okay so i'll create a virtual machine first over here uh, I'll go to my private critical instances over here. Critical VMs. Okay, so first let me create uh, one virtual machine inside this uh, Azure Bastion subnet or Azure Jambox. Okay, then I will create two virtual machine inside this critical virtual machine. Okay, so suppose if we go with Azure Bastion subnet, eh? okay, okay, suppose if I suppose on the just in this page, Okay. Suppose if I'm creating an Azure Bastion host, so that will take two to three minutes to deploy. Okay. So better I can create a virtual machine with a public IP address. Then I will create two private virtual machine over here. Okay. I hope you understood. Then I will go ahead. Right. Okay. So let me uh, head over to the uh, Azure portal first. I'll go to Azure portal. First I'll create a virtual network. So we can navigate to virtual network. So create a virtual network. So I'll create a resource group. Already have a resource group. I'll select it. Okay. The name is VNet. Uh, so I'm going to deploy in East US. Okay. If you want to create any Bastion host directly, you can go to IP address. You can create a one more subnet. That that is Azure Bastion subnet. Go to security part. You can select Bastion host enable. So that's it. You can select the Bastion host name and Azure Bastion subnet. That's that's it. Okay. I'll go to IP address, then I will select this default. I will rename the subnet name to my gem box. Uh, let me put the IP address in 10.000 slash 24. Okay. Uh, Shiva, so I just want to create a private subnet. Okay. What would be the next IP address? Like network address. Eh? What would be the next network address? So total I can create up to 65,536 IP address. So after of this I have been already acquired 10.000 slash 24, right? So I can create uh, like many subnets, right? Okay. So what is the next subnet, subnet network ID? No idea. 10.0.0, 1.0 slash 24, right? So this would be the next IP address range. Okay, if you want a 256 IP address, so we have to put 10.0.1.0 slash 24 because in zero pool we already occurred till 256. Okay, so click add. Okay, so then I will uh, review plus create. I will create this subnet. So it's when, when for the validation. So once it complete the validation, I will create a subnet and with VNet. Okay, what is the problem? Security. Okay, I have to select disable this, then I will create a visual machine. Okay, successfully I created a virtual network, right? Okay, it's getting creating deployment in progress. So we have to wait a couple of seconds once it's created. So I'll go to my virtual machine, then I'll try to create a virtual machine. So meanwhile. Okay, successfully created my VNet, right? I'll go to virtual machine now. VM. Select your VM. Uh, create a virtual machine, Azure virtual machine. First I have to create a Jambox virtual machine to get into the network, right? So I'll select my resource group. I'll select my Jambox virtual machine 
so create a password authentication type uh, then you can put the password authentication ashik ashik at the rate one two three So select port number 22 we, because we not require HTTP or HTTPS, right? So as of you only only need to uh, access our server as such. That's it. So next uh, we have to go to the subnet part, networking part. We have to select our subnet. So VNet and Jumbox subnet. Okay, and IP address will be assigned for this Jumbox subnet. Then review plus create. VNet in VNet. ऑथेंटिकेशन टाइप uh then you send him a password are you are you the sandbox and the other four 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 sanam po okay so uh when you come to disk uh we no need to uh, change anything so just keep it as a default when you come to networking part you have to select your, your uh, like uh, proper subnet okay what about the private subnet see automatically it selected jambox subnet but we have to select private subnet okay so then you have to set the public ip address to none. none because we do not require any public ip address right so let me check so if i don't have any public ip address let me check whether i am able to connect internet or not okay so come down then uh, next review so once it complete the validation then i will create it's one for the validation okay successfully uh, completed the validation i'm i'm going to create a virtual machine okay so i'll create one more virtual machine i'll go to another tab vm virtual machine so create a virtual machine select your resource group and provide pvt2 okay private two servers I, i'm going to deploy this us is2 and uh, select your authentication type as a password same username and password ashik 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 at the rate 123 just reconfirm over here so select your disk as it is default networking parts you have to select the private subnet so that is important uh, and public ip address we not required i will make it as a none then create a and review okay review uh, completed then i will try to create okay Okay, successfully created. First, I will try to log in my which virtual machine. First, I will try to log in which virtual machine. Anybody, anybody have to give answer for that. Bastion. Eh, Bastion host. First, I need to connect my Bastion host, right? So I'll try to connect my Bastion host because I have a public IP address over here, right? I don't have any public IP address for these two virtual machines. Okay, so I'll connect this Bastion host uh, from my local machine. For that, I require a public IP address. I'll go to my virtual machine tab. Uh, then I will search VM. Open virtual machine. Okay, you can see that Jumbox has been created, private one has been created, and private two that is in progress. That is going to create. So select this Jumbox. You can see that I have one public IP address over here. But when I come to the private one, I don't have any public IP address, right? So I'll copy this public IP address. So we can copy this public IP address, and I can go to my command prompt. Then I will execute as such. Uh, then username is Ashi. Then at the rate and public IP address you enter. So yes, enter your password Ashi Ashi at the rate one two. Successfully, I connected my Jumbox server, right? Yeah. Right. So let me check actually what is my public IP address. For get for checking the public IP address, you can execute this command curl. Then if config dot me, please uh, note it down. curl if config then dot me we can execute if you hit enter you will be able to find the public ip address of your 
virtual machine. So what's my public IP address? 52. One minute. So 52, 188, 226, and 85, right? So this is my public IP address of my virtual machine. If you come to this virtual machine tab, you'll be able to find the same IP address over here. Are you able to see this? Ah, copy, copy the same IP address, right? The same IP address, you can see that. So now I, I will try to connect my private one and private two. Then I will check what is the public IP address of private one and private two. Okay. Let me refresh this tab and you will be able to find one more virtual machine over here. So private one and private two, right? So let me open this private one first. Uh, I'll uh, get the private IP of my virtual machine. Then I'll go to my command prompt again. I'll try to connect from this. Okay. SSH. Then Ashi. Then at the rate, I don't have any public IP address. I will compensate with my private IP address. Then hit enter. Yes. You put in the SSH. See, SSH Ashi at the rate, private IP address. That's it. Because I don't have any public IP address. Because I'm in the same local network now. Right. Okay. Then password Ashi. Ashi at the rate, one, two, three. Okay, successfully connected. Uh, let me check. <coughs> Control L. Now you can see that now I'm in a private instance, right? Mm -hmm. So let me check whether I'm able to communicate with the internet. So for, I will check with the uh, APT install. Uh, I'll do one thing. I'll become root first, okay? If I'm a root, I can do it. If I'm not a root, then I cannot do it. So APT, then install. Then I will try to install Apache to that package. See? I'm able to install. See, after this operation, 8095 KB of additional disk space will be used. In the sense, uh, uh, if you want to install this package, it will be consumed uh, this package. Okay, this KB, this space. Okay, so I'm able to connect internet. Let me check what is my public IP address now. What is the uh, what is the command to check public IP address? Curl if config dot me okay so now you can see that i have a public ip address 172.173.194.197 this is my public ip address for my private instance right private one so i'll do one thing i will exit from this so please note it on the private ip address just copy and paste over here so this is my private one okay pvt1 okay so i'll go to my uh, second virtual machine uh, just open private two then copy this uh, private IP address 1.5. I'll copy this private IP address and I'll go to my command prompt again. I'll connect to my instance. Okay, you can connect from this instance as well. SSH, then Ashi, then at the right, then uh, private IP address. Hit enter. Yes. Ashi, Ashi, at the right, 1, 2, 3. Successfully connected, you can see that now I'm in a private two instance, right? Let me check what is the private IP address of my private two instance. Okay, so for that, uh, curl if config dot me. So uh, let me check actually something if config curl if config dot me. Okay, see 52 188 228 73. So this is my private IP address of my. Private to private to instance, right? Mm -hmm. So private to and this is my private one instance, right? So now I'll try to now I'll try to create an ad gateway. Then I will attach this NAT gateway with my subnet to okay. So as of now I don't have any uh, NAT gateway over here. So now I will create one NAT gateway over here. So what are the communications happening? So that will be go through this NAT gateway. Okay, so I'll be have only one public IP address. Only one public IP address. You got so that is a concept. Uh, okay, so I'll go to my uh, I'll go to my private instance first. Okay, Azure portal. Uh, I'll go to NAT gateway first. We have to create a NAT gateway. I'll go to NAT gateways. So create a NAT gateway. Click create. So then select your resource group. The NAT gateway name I'll put NAT1. So region that is a US Eastern wherever you created a virtual network and your virtual machine, you have to select the same region. Okay. So you can select no zone or or else you can uh, select the zonal redundancy or uh, zone redundancy. We can go with anyone. So TCP ideal timeout for global global subnet subnet please. Ah, region. Okay, then uh, public IP address. Okay, uh -huh. I'll select a public IP address over here so I can create right. So, NAT IP. So, click OK. 
so now i allocated with one public ip address right new what is this mean new creating. it's creating okay in the sense that is going to create a new public ip address it is not that created but if i select over here you will be able to find jump box right if i select this jump box uh, so this ip address will be associated with this nat key today. okay but i don't want to associate this ip address i want to associate a new ip address for my nat key okay so boxing you can do same amount same amount okay pacha jirke pattula error varu appo rendu same amount pattula okay so next uh, click subnet then we have to select our subnet and as well as virtual machine so i'm going to create in vnet virtual network and as well as subnet name private, private subnet right so i'll click uh, review plus create so it will create an add gateway for our private subnet okay so we'll be have one public ip address for our private subnet so now we can see that uh, we have a two private ip address for our subnet or virtual machine so that will be come to one public ip address so it's initiation deployment okay so uh, let's wait a minute so once it complete then i will try to connect it okay ഞാൻ ഈ വീഡിയോ ഒക്കെ യൂട്യൂബിൽ ഇടുന്നുണ്ട് വളരെ ഞാൻ ചെക്ക് ചെയ്തോളൂ കാരണം നമ്മൾ ഈ വീഡിയോ ഇട്ടിട്ടില്ലല്ലോ ഇതൊക്കെ യൂട്യൂബിൽ ഉണ്ട് ഞാൻ ഇന്നലെ ജംബോസ് ബാസ് ഹോസ് ഇതൊക്കെ യൂട്യൂബിൽ ഉണ്ട് അല്ലെങ്കിൽ അഡ്ജസ്റ്റ് ഒന്ന് കയറി കണ്ടാൽ മതി സബ്സ്ക്രൈബ് ചെയ്യണമെന്നില്ല നിങ്ങൾ കാണാൻ വേണ്ട അല്ല നിങ്ങൾ ചോദിച്ചു ഞാൻ ഇന്ന് എടുക്കുന്ന ക്ലാസ് അപ്പൊ എന്ത് ചെയ്യും ഒരു ഇരുന്നാല് മണിക്കൂറിൽ അപ്ലോഡ് ചെയ്യും ഞാൻ പോയി ഞാൻ ഇവിടുന്ന് അപ്പൊ തന്നെ അപ്ലോഡ് ചെയ്ത സാധനം ബ്രോ something you counting right eh that gate ah nalai gate node endra manasilayile alla that gate manasilaya alland vera five reserve type illa adey rakha ha adana angane count cheyunde dikkara ke chellana mari okay so the first one is network and second one gateway third one two dns two and three dns last one broadcast so we already learned the first one is a network and last one is a broadcast so azure is reserving three address so gateway 2 dns okay total five ip address okay see successfully i created one nat gateway right so now i'll go to this resource i'll go to nat gateway so open nat uh open this nat so we have an option subnets over here right subnet click over here subnet okay uh, you can see that vnet and we can select private subnet uh, as well as jump box subnet but i created with my private subnet right okay that is fine so now i will go with my virtual machine then i will check what is my public ip address okay so i'll go to outbound ip so this is my outbound ip that is starting from 1368 247 215 but it will take 1 to 2 minutes in effect in our system okay mm -hmm. but even we'll try uh what is my curl config dot me okay now you can see that the ip address has been changed to 13.68.247215 right so what is the uh, okay see private 2 all right now i'll navigate to private 1 exit from the session okay now you can see that now i, I am in a private 1 right i'll try to execute the same command curl if config dot me you can see that the same ip address see we have a multiple virtual machine by using one ip address right whatever the traffic actually is going through the internet so that that only have one public ip address okay the benefit is i can integrate one firewall over here then i can allow that 13 dot whatever the ip address over here so it will allow these all virtual machine okay if i want to restrict i can create another rule then i can restrict the rule as well okay any doubts if any doubt i can reiterate once again